Yeah, um, I harvested this today. This is my harvest today. The mustard green. So after that, um, these are the new ones, new seeds. I'm going to be getting them ready for the spring. See how they are coming up. Yeah, so this is this is like the fourth day. The fourth day here. And these are the ones I brought out. I already brought them out today. This is their fourth day out here. See that? Yeah, so they are in stages. In stages, I leave them in the box. See, when I... When I put the seeds in the container, I leave them in the dark area. I leave them in the dark area for four days. By the fifth day, they will start germinating, and I'll bring them out onto the light. So they are in the dark, so that they can, you know, start um, germinating faster. That's why I put them there. So these are the ones that I brought out today. Put them, I brought them out today. These ones here. Yeah. So, and these are the, the nest to that level. These are a few days old. This is about two, 10 days. This one, 10 days. The, these are the, I would say the, the third level. And then the fourth level is this one here. See that one there? And this is the fifth level here. See? Yeah, so when I put them in the dark, it makes them, you know, germinate faster. So I bring them up by the time they get big. Once they reach this level, which is the like fourth to fifth day, I bring them out to the light. This is how I do it. You see here, this one, see how these ones are? Mm -hmm. So that they bring them out to the light and they will start, you know, getting the photosynthesis from the light, the direct light. I usually put the light completely directly to them so that they will not have a long leg. See these ones? They don't have a long leg. So these are going to come out of the whole container. See that one there? That one there. So that is the stages. I leave them and I begin to, like I did harvest this today. I harvested this today. So the more I harvest, the more I produce more new seeds, more new plants. So that's what happens when I harvest it. So you have to be doing this in the winter. So to, this is February 23rd. It's not outside. And this can keep you busy. You see that? So the more I'm harvesting and the more I'm pushing up the older ones and then bringing in the new ones, you know, and put them directly in the light. See how close they are in the light? If you don't do that, they will have a long leg. And when they have a long leg, they become very heavy. They cannot stand it and they will, be, they will not stand it. They will fall. So this is the fourth stage here. And this is the fifth stage here. The fifth stage, right there. This one here. So these are a few weeks. These are a few days old. A few days. These are a few days. A few days. This one is four days. See that? Yeah. So this is my harvest today. And I leave them in a box and get them ready for, you know, tra transferring them to the light. This is the, the what it is. I have to trans bring them up before, just on that stage. Otherwise, they will get a long leg. So that's what I do. This is the way I do it myself. And they grow out very well. As you can see, as you can see, so you can see that, see, see that, yeah. So I do my indoor gardening in winter so that um, when the weather gets like around March or April, when the weather starts getting warmer, 
I can take them outside. But I can leave them in this container like this and harvest them. As long as I supply them enough nutrients, I don't, the, all I give them is black tea. Black tea. I brew the tea, mix it with the water, and water it. They really soak in water. They, they need the nutrients. Very frequently, I water them twice a week. You know, make sure that it's not saturated, just minimum. Minimum. They just get a little water, a little flu, you know, a little nutrient. Just the water, I water it a little bit, and then that's all, all they need. I do not uh, spray. I don't spray it. Rather, I pour the water directly to them because spraying will not help much. So I pour the water directly. 